Hey, hey, Houston, we are back at NAC Act 2022. I am going to stop talking very quickly because here I have someone who is so much smarter than I am. <laughs> I want to read off your resume who Alexander Clark started a business at the age of 12, graduated from Yale, has his own company. I'm going to give you the floor here. Your huge, enormous exhibit slate behind us is beautiful. I mean, how, how is really what I want to ask. <laughs> how are you liking being at the conference this year? The energy this year is unlike any that we've ever really seen. Explain to me what that's been like so far. Oh, it is such a delight to have things really, truly back. Uh, that this year, first of all, you can see everyone's faces, which is a delightful thing uh, after these past several years. But it's something where there is such a wonderful positive energy that this is one of the largest snack acts in history. And everyone is genuinely happy and excited to be here. And so we're incredibly honored to be back at NACAC again here in Houston, which has the Johnson Space Center, which is why our whole exhibit is very space themed. Uh, but we also like things like Daft Punk, so that's why we have hanging disco balls uh, above our exhibit, because it just A makes natural sense. Natural combination. They look like planets. <laughs> and plus, I would want planets to be mirrored and reflective. Sure. That's if the we best can make type. that happen. Right. Correct. So, Alexander, I know you were here last year and you've been here yeah. before. Tell me a little bit about why you keep coming back, why you set up these exhibits and bring your staff here year after year. Yeah. So NACAC, uh, we had first come to as uh, in 2013. That was the first conference we ever went to because we've never had any marketing or sales staff. And so when it became time to say, we want to engage with our community, we came to NACAC because we thought, well, they're all here uh, and we should be here as well. We've never missed a year uh, that NACAC held, held a conference uh, for that. And it has just been a wonderful ride along the way because we've had sort of, we've grown in that time too. We're now growing by about 200 colleges per year. Wow. Uh, and so we were a much smaller organization back in 2013. And so it's been a, a fun ride for us uh, too. And to see NACAC grow along the way as well. I mean, speaking of growth, so I used to be a news anchor. I'm going to go back into my news anchor voice and say, we have some breaking news here. <laughs> you are literally just launching a brand new venture. Talk to me about what yes. happened just a couple of hours ago. Yes. Yeah, so this morning we launched uh, what we call Slate.org College Discovery. And it's what we're calling a recommendation engine. So I'll give you the Netflix, uh, Netflix example. The way that it works is that a student or a school counselor could go in. They could say, these are the colleges I'm thinking about applying to. And then we can use billions of heuristics and behavioral data points and essentially machine learning and artificial intelligence to be able to fill in the rest of their prospective college list. And so the idea is that if you watch this movie on Netflix, well, other people who watched all these different types of movies probably also really liked these other movies. And so not that we're saying you need to watch this movie on Netflix, but you should consider it as well. And so we see this as just a wonderful tool for school counselors and students to be able to help inform and guide and expand their college search to include not just the obvious choices, but the hidden gems that are out there as well. So really just a jumping off point for both students and administrators as far as here are some more options. Maybe you didn't consider this or maybe you hadn't even heard about this. We have so many options for our students now yes. and you're doing some of the work for everybody, which I feel like people like, <laughs> please do the research so I don't have to. Yes. Well, and the approach that we take with Slate.org is that it is, it's a nonprofit. Uh, and so there is absolutely no commercialization of data. It is free forever to absolutely every single person, colleges, students alike. There's no ulterior motive. We've been doing this with Slate.org since its beginning uh, with things. And it's all about college access, which is a core uh, element of NACAC's mission too, is to help not only I, uh, ensure that students can apply to college and be successful in those, but that they can be informed about all of the different opportunities that exist uh, out there. I love everything about that. So if people want to see this breaking news, yes. brand new <laughs> product, what do they need to know? Where do they need to sure. go? Give us that Colbert moment yeah. plug. Yeah, so they can go to slate.org, uh, the website, and all of the information's there. They can sign up for a free account, so you can actually even go in anonymously and play with it in a Google incognito window uh, on things and just play with seeing how the recommendations change uh, as you add and subtract schools from your uh, college list. But all sorts of things that come from our community of school counselors and folks on the college side 
that are helping to inform how they want students to be ever more empowered uh, in this college search. That's wonderful. And I know I, I was ribbing you a little bit when we started <laughs> saying you're so much smarter than I am. That's still true in case anyone at home is wondering. But that's such an amazing part of this conference and this opportunity because we have 6,000, over 6,000 people here who are able to share and learn and grow together. So it's just amazing to be a part of it. Well, and I think that's what's actually a lovely thing about this event is that it's such a diverse group of individuals, that it's not just a monolithic, all people with the same job title from the same type of institution. It's ones where they're really not crossing paths oftentimes, except for here at this event. Uh, and so it's just nice to be in a, a giant room together with folks that are truly inspirations to one another. I couldn't have said it better myself. It's not going to get better than that, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for being here and talking to us and, I mean, really just helping everyone get to from point A to point B when it comes to that college decision at the end of the day. My pleasure. This was fun. This is very fun. Thank, Thank you. you.